Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the DFD for online shopping website whose level 2 DFD for the customer side. And this is the part number 1 of the 3 set of lecture. So my dear students, let us consider the level 2 DFD of the customer side online shopping lecture. So my dear students, in the last lectures, we had discussed what is a data flow diagram. A DFD or a data flow diagram is a graphical view of how the data is processed in a system in terms of input and output. And the data flow diagram contains symbols for drawing the data flows in that particular diagrammatical representation. The four major fundamental diagrams used are data flow process, entity, and data stores. A data flow is a pipeline through the packet of information flow, and the data flows are represented in DFD with an arrowhead. And the second one is a process, which is represented in rectangle or elliptical shape. And this shape represents the process or task performed by the system. The third one is the entity which is represented in rectangular boxes. And the entities are objects of the system that is a source or destination data of a system. The fourth one is a data store is a place where data are to be stored which is represented by two parallel lines. So my dear students in each and every one DFD we can see these four representations the data flow with arrow processes with ellipse entities with rectangle and finally data stores with two parallel lines so my dear students in the last lecture we had discussed the zeroth level as well as the first level dfd of the customer side when we are analyzing the first level dfd of the customer side the first level dfd has five independent processes those processes are first word is search item Second one is registration, third one is login, fourth one is account detail and fifth one is purchase. In the level 2 DFD, we have to expand each of these individual processes. That is, we have to expand the process 1, search item, 2, the registration, third, login, fourth one, account and fifth one, purchase. So firstly, we are expanding our first process that is a search process so the second level dfd for the customer side search process includes a website admin and a customer entities that is a website admin is in one side and the customer entity is in another side which are represented in rectangular boxes the website admin deals with the processes add item change the price or quantity of that particular item and third one is deletion or updation of this item all these processes reflects changes in the data space or data store item list so this data space or the database or the data store area item list is updated by the website admin with the help of these three independent processes when we come to the customer side, the customer can search the data associated in a website with the process search process and the search process is collaborated with the data store item list. That is simply a customer search or sort the different products available in a web portal and all of the individual data are stored in the item list data space and these data spaces are updated by the website admin so this is the level 2 dfd for the first process that is the search process at the customer side when it comes to the second process that is the registration process the end entities associated with this process are personal detail login detail contact detail and delivery location these are the entities associated with this process and these entities are represented in rectangular boxes so since we are dealing with the second level dfd of the registration the process registration is represented in a ellipse and this process is associated or coordinating the data with the data space user details when a customer or a user is registering with this particular web portal those data are 
stored in the user detail data space and the confirmation messages are given back to the customers. So the second process registration is associated with four independent entities and those entities are personal detail, login detail, contact detail and delivery location and this process is associated with a data space user detail. So this is the second level DFD of the customer side registration process. So when it comes to the third process that is the login process, the second level DFD at the customer side for login process includes four independent entities, one data space and the process is login. So this login process is associated with the entities password management, login management, user management and change password management. In the login procedure, one can log in with the help of a username and password. These usernames and passwords are verified by the process login with the help of some algorithms by searching the data stored in the data space user detail. Once the login credentials are given correctly and verified, a customer can proceed to the next level or next process associated with the web portal. So my dear students, this is the second level customer side login process. So my dear students, this is how we are representing data flow diagrams for every processes. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through the assignment question. Our question is, draw the level 2 DFD for the banking transaction. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we are discussing the process number 4, that is the account detail process data flow diagram level 2. So my dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.